Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued a circular regarding the New Year 2021 holiday. Under the circular, the Kingdom's ministries, state departments and public institutions will be closed on Friday, January the 1st, 2021, corresponding to 17th Jumada al Awal, 1442 AH. And since this day falls in a weekly holiday, it will be compensated by Sunday, the 3rd of January, 2021. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued Edict 27 for the year 2020, transferring and appointing directors at Customs Affairs at the Ministry of Interior. Under the edict, the Director of Planning and Customs Policies at Walid Joseph Mubarak Ajur will be transferred to serve as the Director of Customs Clearance. And Sheikh Munir bin Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa is to be appointed as Director of Customs Licensing and Customer Services at Customs Affairs at the Ministry of Interior. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received a formal invitation addressed to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa from the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, to attend the 41st session of the Supreme Council of the GCC held in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, next week. The invitation was delivered to His Royal Highness during a meeting with the Secretary General of the GCC, Dr. Niaf Fala Mubarak Al Najaf at Rifa Palace. His Royal Highness expressed Bahrain's wishes for the success of the 41st session of the GCC Supreme Council meeting. For his part, Dr Najaf expressed appreciation for His Royal Highness's interest in developing joint GCC work and wished Bahrain further prosperity. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Ziani, and the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, attended. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting held remotely. The cabinet welcomed the productive bilateral talks held between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the King of Jordan, His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein. The cabinet also discussed the outcomes of the recent Saudi Bahraini Coordination Council meeting, highlighting its importance in advancing historic ties shared between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia across all sectors. The Cabinet extended its heartfelt congratulations to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, and citizens and residents on the advent of the new year 2021, wishing all a prosperous and peaceful year ahead. His Royal Highness then thanked the heads of states and governments, leaders from across the international community, members of the Royal Family, heads and members of the Kingdom's authorities, members of public and private authorities, and citizens and residents on the congratulations on his appointment as Prime Minister. The Cabinet reviewed the latest COVID-19 developments locally and internationally, stressing the importance of confirmed adherence to public health measures without exaggerating the community and still existing threat posed by the virus due to any complacency. The Cabinet also welcomed increased number of vaccinations conducted since the launch of the National Vaccination Campaign. Based on what is presented by the Minister of Interior on the unfounded allegations and deliberate misrepresentations regarding Maharak Police Department, His Royal Highness and Crown Prince Prime Minister directed the Minister of Interior to convey his thanks and appreciation to the people of Maharak, whose vigorous spirit of patriotism has been reflected across Bahrain adding that the people of Maharak are known for the sincere loyalty and will always play a key role in the development of the Kingdom. His Royal Highness also conveyed his appreciation and thanks to those in charge of the security services in Maharak Governorate for their efforts in preserving the security of the people of Maharak with commitment, discipline and professionalism. The Cabinet noted the 50th anniversary of the establishment of Bahrain's Women's Police Force and praised the efforts of the Bahraini women in the police and security forces. The Cabinet highlighted various women advancement milestones during the reign of His Majesty the King, emphasising the central role of the Supreme Council for Women, chaired by Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King, in this regard. The Cabinet was then informed of the measures taken by the Ministry of Interior to address the damages suffered by Bahraini seafarers affected by the actions taken by the Qatari authorities in order to compensate them. The Cabinet affirmed its rejection of any offensive actions against Bahraini citizens, outlining that these abuses are unacceptable and all necessary measures will be taken to preserve the rights and interests of the Kingdom's citizens. 
A number of memorandums were discussed during the meeting. The Cabinet approved the following memorandums. A memorandum from the Government Executive Committee regarding the Cabinet Manual which aims to enhance efficiency and coordination between government agencies. A memorandum from the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on amending some schedules of amounts due for services performed by the Bahrain Chamber for Commerce and Industry in addition to amending the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, decision number 156 of 2013, in order to improve the coordination relationship between the Minister and the Chamber and develop some procedural matters related to the Chamber. A memorandum from the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance regarding the launch of an updated version of the Standard Financial Manual. A memorandum from the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance regarding the development of a Dohat Arit Park in cooperation with the private sector. A memorandum from the Minister of Interior regarding the regulation and entrust insurance companies with the handling of minor traffic accidents. A memorandum from the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding the Government's response to three proposals submitted by the Council of Representatives. The Cabinet reviewed the following topic. A memorandum from the Minister of Foreign Affairs regarding topics to be discussed during the 41st session of the Supreme Council for the Gulf Cooperation Council. His Majesty the King's Representative of Humanitarian Working Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, launched the Bahrain Victoria Cycling Team for the 2021 session as part of the change of the team's strategic plan after it was named Team Bahrain McLaren. On the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the Kingdom has proved its outstanding status in the world of cycling after making many achievements in world championships during the last period and promoting the Kingdom in various events. His Highness noted that the Bahrain was keen on participating through teams that hold its names in various sporting events in which many of them made a number of outstanding achievements that contributed in promoting Bahrain and its many achievements, including those of Team Bahrain McLaren. Sheikh Nasser indicated that the formation of the team will have positive effects in the Kingdom to be the home of cycling in the Middle East, which constitutes a major step in promoting the Kingdom in line with the 2030 economic vision. His Highness added that cycling is one of the most challenging sports that requires dedication, discipline and perseverance noting that these values are needed to pr practice endurance sports that promote a better lifestyle for everyone. He highlighted that the Bahrain Victorious team will reflect the Kingdom's vision to build a performance team which aims to inspire and win at the highest level. His Highness Sheikh Nasser wished the team success in upcoming cycling championships. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports President of the Brain Olympic Committee and Head of the Coordination Executive and Follow-up Committee, Esther Jabba, at the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the meeting of the Esther Jabba Committee held remotely. His Highness welcomed the committee members, hailing their efforts in coordinating with relevant government authorities to implement the committee's recommendations, plans and programmes in accordance with the directors of His Majesty the King's Representative for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which aims to further develop the youth and sports sector. His Highness Sheikh Khalid then reviewed a number of topics discussed in the committee's meetings held in November and December and made the following decisions. Establishing an implementation mechanism to develop school sports, the agreement on the mechanism of using school sports facilities, adopting an open league concept, the completion of establishing an unfilled electronic register of players, the workers' contracts and clubs and sports federations, following up on the implementation of the outcomes of the Youth Summit 2020 and the establishment of a sport special road for cycling in the Southern Governorate. His Highness urged everyone to continue exerting efforts to implement programmes that contribute to the development of the youth and sports movement in the Kingdom. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Brain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received at his office in Al Wadi Palace the President of the Brain Council for Martial Games, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa. 
the Secretary General of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Mohammed Hassan Al Nasif, and the President of Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation, BMMAF, Mohammed Ali Gambar, and the advisor to the President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Mohammed Shahid, was also present. His Highness Sheikh Khalid welcomed the, the attendees who congratulated him on Bahrain's winning the best award for hosting IMMAF championships. His Highness affirmed that the award was the result of the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for sports and athletes and the distinguished efforts of the representative of His Majesty the King for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to develop the sports sector in the kingdom. His Highness stated that the efforts exerted to promote the MMA sport in the continent and the world were successful as Bahrain is at the top of the general ranking in the approved classification of the IMMAF for years 2019 and 2020. His Highness Sheikh Khalid tailed the efforts exerted by BMMAF to implement the work mechanism that contributes to developing martial arts federations under the Council. His Highness added that the achievements made by the martial arts team during the Council's term affirm that they follow the vision developed for these sports to increase the Kingdom's participation in the championships. His Highness Sheikh Khalid reviewed with His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed a number of topics, including the resumption of martial arts federations activity during the new season. His Highness urged the Council to continue exerting efforts to make further achievements that raise the Kingdom's status on the global sports map. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed commended His Highness Sheikh Khalid's role in supporting martial arts, which contributed to implementing plans and programmes that improve the sport's level. He noted that the BMMAF will double its efforts to add further achievements to the Bahraini sports record. The GCC Minister of Foreign Affairs held through virtual communications the 14th preparatory session of the Ministerial Council for the Cooperation Council ahead of the 41st Gulf Summit, headed by the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Chairman of the next Gulf Summit, Dr Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Ziani, with the participation of GCC Secretary General Dr Nayef Al Hajraf. The Minister of Foreign Affairs delivered a speech in which he recalled with appreciation the efforts and achievements of three late leaders of GCC states, His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Said, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jaba Al Sabah, and His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, noting the contributions to development of the GCC march. Dr Al Ziani expressed confidence in the Saudi leadership of the summit, highlighting its vital role in preserving the security and stability of the Gulf. He stressed the importance of strengthening Gulf dialogue to achieve common goals in the future, maintain stability, fight hatred speech, combat terrorism and stand against all attempts to interfere in internal affairs of Gulf countries. He stressed the need to end regional conflicts and disputes through peaceful means in accordance with the international conventions and the principles of good neighbourliness. He emphasised the importance of joining efforts to return the old norms of the Gulf where the land and sea borders were open and the sources of livelihood were available to all, taking into account the need to respect countries, their laws and sovereignty. The foreign ministers discussed a number of topics on their agenda. The Minister of Health, Fayekha bin Said Al Saleh, chaired the third meeting of the National Non-Communicable Disease Control Committee. The meeting reviewed the recommendations of the Gulf Committee to Control Non-Communicable Diseases, which was presented by the Public Health Department Director at the Health Ministry, Dr Najat Abd al fattah Endocrinologist and Diabetes Consultant Dr Dalal Aramehi discussed the most important statistics and developments of the early colon cancer detection campaign. The Muharraq Governor Salman bin Isa bin Hindi al Manai issued a statement in which he affirmed that the Governor received the denunciations of all the people of Muharraq at the time lies of the Qatari al Jazeera channel had broadcasted regarding the Muharraq Police Directorate. He stated that these allegations offend the people of Qatar who share family ties with the people of Muharraq. The people of Muharraq affirmed the disapproval of the people of Qatar for their consent and silence on al Jazeera channel's lies and its constant incitement to sow discord among people. He added that the people of Muharraq have affirmed that al Jazeera channel since its inception created a state of division and isolation between the people of Qatar and the people of the Gulf, targeting the bonds between the people of Bahrain, especially the people of Muharraq and their brothers in Qatar, 
stressing that the people of Maharak will not accept any offence to the leadership and people of Bahrain. The Governor hailed the role and performance of the Maharak Police Directorate and its implementation of many successful programmes and experiences in the field of police work and its connection to the social aspect, as the community partnership policy of the Ministry of Interior has become a scientific reference and an advanced civilised approach that has attracted the attention of the world. He stated that the people in Qatar found in Maharak appreciation and hospitality in its homes and country, adding that Maharak has always welcomed the people of Qatar and opened its pearling sites to all Gulf citizens. Amanai stressed that the people of Maharak affirmed the rejection of the lies of Al Jazeera Channel and called on the people of Qatar to reject this channel that harms the close relations between the two brotherly people. The governor concluded by affirming that Maharak, which is greatly revered by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, will not accept any lies broadcast by this channel. He also expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, during the Cabinet meeting today, for thanking the people of Maharak and healed their rejection of the Cabinet of offensive actions against citizens, stressing that the violations are unacceptable and necessary measures will be taken to protect the rights of citizens. He also expressed sincere thanks and appreciation to the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, for the efforts of the Ministry and its employees in maintaining safety and security. The National Health Regulatory Authority, the NHRA, has approved the National Continuing Medical Education Project to be a high quality educational platform via the internet. The programme includes the latest modern educational technologies and comprehensive monitoring and evaluation features. The adoption of the project is based on the keenness to keep up with the latest electronic technologies and technological development as it represents a milestone in the health aspect and supports all health practitioners with continuous promotion of the medical information. The launch of the project also affirms Bahrain's pioneership in the field of continuing medical education and its endeavour to improve the quality of services in all health and medical fields. The International Institute for Administrative Sciences, the IIAS, organised a virtual ceremony to celebrate 90 years of its establishment in the presence of a group of officials and researchers in the field of developing administrative work from a different world countries. During his participation in the ceremony as President of the IIAS, the Director General of Bahrain Institute of Public Administration, BIPA, Dr Rashid Mohammed bin Shamas, affirmed the comprehensive vision of His Majesty the King an insightful governmental vision of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister placed Bahrain at the forefront of global competitiveness in many fields. He stated that the Kingdom proved its competence in managing one of the most prominent international organisations for public administration and its General Secretariat for the first time in history, represented by BIPA. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 1,926 with 130 recoveries and 215 registered new cases. 105 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 102 are contacts of active cases and 8 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus.